I'm uh, at the foot of the ladder. I'm going to step off the limb now. That's one small step for man. It's one of the most famous quotes in history. One giant leap for mankind. And Neil Armstrong's iconic words have been replayed countless times. But those few seconds from Apollo 11 are just a sliver of all the radio communication it took to put a man on the moon. Buzz is erecting the solar wind experiment now. While today we do everything, let's say, with text messaging and on our computers, in 1969, the majority of all the work that NASA did for Apollo was actually accomplished through audio. Oh, geez, that's great. Is the lighting halfway decent? Yes, indeed. They've got the flag up now. If anyone knows audio, it's Dr. John Hansen from the University of Texas at Dallas. His department develops intelligent speech recognition software and techniques for analyzing the human voice. And if UTD wouldn't have studied Apollo, then NASA may have lost a piece of history. All of the uh, data was all recorded on analog tape. These tapes were sitting uh, in NASA's uh, uh, archive. They've never been digitized. If we weren't going to digitize them, they probably would deteriorate and be lost forever. Anything more before I head on up, Ruth? Negative. Head on up the ladder, Buzz. This is uh, one of the tapes. You know, you got to be careful when you take them out. Uh, you know, this is the uh, storage piece. It looks like an old uh, piece of tape like we used to use in television. Exactly, yes. Before John and his students could study the mission control audio, they had to digitally record the obsolete reel-to-reel -reel tapes. There's 30 tracks on this tape. Anyone that's in mission control who has a headset on and who's talking, uh, they would be recorded on this. How long is each tape? Each tape is roughly about 14 hours in length. And how many of these are there? Uh, there's many. After about four months of digitizing, we were able to get 19,000 hours digitized. With the digital recordings in hand, John's department used their voice recognition software to transcribe every word said. Now they're sharing that text and audio data worldwide to advance speech technology and help NASA plan for the future. Apple, Microsoft, Google, Amazon, all of these companies, there's lots of universities also that are looking at advancing speech technology. And we think this will actually help NASA better understand group dynamics for a mission to Mars. And long after that work is done, the digital archive that UTD created will far outlast those fragile and historic tape reels at NASA. This has become much more than a research project for Dr. Hansen and his students. It's their way to preserve the voices of hundreds of other brilliant minds at the edge of the scientific frontier. We're just geeky engineers, but we really, really had a great time with this, and I'll say, it just, we feel really happy that uh, a lot of people that really worked hard to accomplish this engineering feat will be remembered. Uh -huh. Houston, Roger, well done, huh?